Hi, hi. How are you? How are you, Ni? Wow. So at last we doing this thing. Um, we've been wanting to do YouTube for years and years and years. We started a lafu somewhere along the way. I think had to go on a track of what exactly we're supposed to do to Kasimama, and um, so lately we're picking up our pieces from here we left and here we are and i'm happy to see you and uh join you in this journey so my name is dris wandia um i love going by the name wandia only I think it's unique and I just love it as it is. So who is Wandia? Wandia is a young girl from Kenya. Uh, she's passionate about life. She's passionate about God. She's passionate about business and she's just passionate about healthy lifestyle. Uh, and uh, she's a girl who loves having fun and exploring. And uh, the more we are getting old, the more we are appreciating the beauty of life and what life can offer us. So I think in a nutshell, that is me. Uh, what do I do? Uh, professionally, uh, I hold a diploma in hospitality management, which I did uh, right after campus. But inside me, I've always wanted to do fashion and designing and human resource management. But compared to fashion and designing, maybe i'll get someone to do that for me but for human resource management that is what we are currently doing in school it has been a long journey but bado tutafika hapo na tutapata hizo certificates so i'm still in the process of continuing with my study even as i look forward to be certified as a fully fledged human resource manager uh, so that is what i do like you know professionally in terms of vitabu na kusoma and certificates but what do i do as a person me i'm multifaceted i think i can work as an administrator i've worked uh, in garages because i'm a car enthusiast uh, but right now um I've, i also have a company called adult life beauty which is um i concentrated more on hair and skin uh organically uh sheer butter and the likes but if you come behind kwanza and kasimama because i was feeling overwhelmed i was fully employed and fully running my business i brought people on board to help me with that but i think also for them because of the misukosuko ya maisha we were not able to collaborate so well so i had to put a pause to it because it demands a lot really and my, my work where i was it was really very engaging so it was really taking a toll on me on, on support so uh, but right now i think i will continue with that dream but in another perspective which i can't share right now because bado uh, iko pale kwa oven ndio ndio mekala sufuria kwa jiko nikigojea ishike moto nika kitunguu ndio niweze kupata chakula kizuri pale mwisho so hopefully it will go on well uh, so currently i'm a virtual assistant uh, so i work remotely uh, my main target is uh, SMEs small companies that are not really able to bring on board administrative support that is in terms of fully employing an admin ad, administrative uh, personnel so i come in uh, according to how we work and arrange uh, ourselves so i can help you out with administration support that is in a uh, uh, calendar management appointment bookings traveling bookings and also i do some graphic designing which is our uh, business cards business portfolio uh what else do i do i do some online jobs uh, just in case you are too busy and you are too caught up you can holler at me you can holler at your girl and i'll write i'll do it from where i am you really don't have to come to where i am i can do it from where i am and really communicate with you effectively effectively until we are both satisfied and we both get what you intend to get at the end of the day so that is what i am right now i'm a fully fledged uh, 
virtual assistant i work remotely with smes but i also work with corporate people who need uh some consultations here and there but i think my main concentration is small businesses uh because let's be honest uh, we all need to grow our businesses in one way or another and we need administration support and operational support i also offer operational support in this i mean i do offer hr consultancy uh, as much as to neither sema japa certified but i still believe in my own value i still believe whatever experiences i've had in the places that i've worked whatever experiences and skills i have learned so far i am able to serve my people with what i have to my level best and also there is research i can also do research and help you grow your business because that is my passion i love business i love entrepreneurship because i also i always believe that anyone who starts up something that is someone who is worth saluting because running a business is not as easy as it sounds it takes a lot of sacrifice it takes a lot of sleepless nights it takes a lot of strategy making uh you declutter everything else then you start up from square zero so i'm really passionate with working with small people and startups uh, until your business has grown i am a pr- i have probably worked with two brands uh, which i won't mention the name here but i think i'm just happy when i see these people thrive in what they're doing right now as much as i did it at pro bono eh you know and they have fully running businesses right now and i am happy for them so that is my joy what am i looking forward to in future i think i'm looking forward to be a business coach as i said that is my passion i want to help see so many people grow and so many people um build up their financial capacity as much as in in terms of business and also in terms of employment because as a human resource um uh, my passion is in protecting the human labor because i believe many of us have been manipulated in one way or another not all in our business places and if we all know our rights and we know we all know what roles we are supposed to play in our organization then it makes it better because my rule number one says uh it's not a must to start your own business it's not a must to become an entrepreneur yourself you can be a support to another entrepreneur you can be a support to another business by being an employee that is your calling and that is where you're supposed to be so if you understand your scope of operations then life become em- employment life becomes easier for you not unless your employee is really a uh, breaking the laws i believe we are all meant to serve each other in one way or another so that is all about me um uh, what fun what fun activities do i like uh, i like hiking i like dancing i like cooking i like reading and i i'm a i like mostly researching on new things that is me uh, i have a small concentration span which is something i'm trying to change over the years I, i'm trying to concentrate on one thing because there is a book i read and i really came to realize maybe most of the time where i miss my blessings is because uh, i concentrate i put little concentration on one thing and before i have seen the fruits sina interest akfanyo kitu tena i'm already picking it i'm already picking up something else somewhere so i'm not a finisher and once you're not a finisher you you really never get the results that you wanted or you really never know what results you could have gotten once you st- maybe if we stick to it and finish it up so i think that is my uh, other side but i'm working on it day in day out and at least right now i have a few things and a few projects which are finished and this one is one of it uh, maybe some of us have seen me in another forum called uh, brotherhood mentality where i'm a co-founder so i'm still with the team yes uh, but in africa mahali where you also need to grow as an individual and mostly if you want to do it as a main profession so that is what i'm doing right now me as a brand wadia as a brand but i'm also working with brotherhood mentality in whatever we did and many other projects that are coming and we have exciting projects on the way mostly from the year 2023 we have amazing 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 projects so be on the look we shall be rolling out the announcements very soon and how you can join us in that 
uh, what else i'm also passionate about women i'm passionate about uplifting young girls as much as i'm a young girl i also want to uplift other young girls who are passionate about what they want to do in terms of career and in terms of calling uh because i believe once you have you you know what you want to do it's it becomes easier if you have someone to work with you along that journey and that is who i am uh hopefully by the time i'm 40 i'll have a whole crowd of women following me and uh, i'll be a testimony in their lives that is what i live for i'm also a christian i believe in god my journey as a christian has not been easy it has been a rough one ups and downs but i think that is the whole point about this journey it's never a straight line it's about you falling down and you reconnecting with god he picks you up and you continue to go to the next level of life and i'm there currently and i'm happy so far so good god has been gracious and god has been faithful in my life so that is all that you need to know about me my niche is mainly in mentorship and um, lifestyle topics really that will be my discussions and i really hope that i do inspire someone i do touch someone's life even as we progress in life because uh, as a woman there's a baby of us that uh, always hits me up that you know all this beauty is vanity but a woman who has who trusts in god is a woman not to be compared to uh, i can't really remember the words but in proverbs that you want somewhere there i'm not sure if it's proverbs i'll have to confirm it i'll give it to you much later I'll, i think i will i will link it up somewhere down here uh but that is my mantra right now that uh my beauty is not everything uh what you see physically is not really what adds up to me being me but it is the knowledge and the wisdom and what i can offer to the world that is the most important thing and that is what i value most and um i really want to build on even as we grow because uh, i want tomorrow when i look back and look at my life i will really i will really say that you know i have lived my life to what i believe i was called to to uh, what i believe i was called to do in this life and my journey might not be the same as yours you might be called to be a musician and that is a lane of calling you might be called to be a doctor that is a lane of calling me i believe i'm called to be in front of this thing called the camera um as much as it has taken me years for me to build my confidence even in terms of speech and maybe later on we shall come to realize why i have pushed myself so much to be here and i am happy uh, that we are finally we are finally here so that is a brief intro even as we start this journey welcome home please subscribe subscribe like share comment and um barikiwe cc sote you can follow me on ig on amwandia am underscore wandia in the facebook wandia joy uh, i'm still working on my brand name which hopefully i will settle on wandia joy at the end of the day so that will be like my official brand name uh because i i, I love my second name so much but anyway so barikiwe so happy to see you and i'm happy that you've seen me for the very first time and uh next time bye bye